Well, the toys date back to 1981. Then came the TV shows, the books, the movies. We're talking about My Little Pony, which is still very much a thing today. The newest version of My Little Pony TV series is called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and the final season is underway. Take, Take a look. Yeah. Equestria is currently enjoying its longest period of harmony in recent years. And it's all thanks to you, Twilight. And your friends, of course. Who? Us? Oh, pshaw. Sure. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Thank you. Because of your efforts, there's been less and less for us to do. So, after much consideration, my sister and I have decided it is time for us to retire. Huh? Breaking news! The royal princess is retiring. I have so many questions. Who will take over? Who will run Equestria? Will it be someone tall, dark, and handsome? Or will it be the Lord of Chaos? Oh, fine. Go with the obvious choice. <laughs> Sarah Strong is here, and she voices Twilight Sparkle, and she's joining us via satellite this afternoon. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. It's so amazing, your voiceover work. You have done so many characters over the years. Does your voice ever hurt from trying to recreate some of these characters? <laughs> You know, sometimes it does, like uh, Terrence from Foster's Home, he was like, oh, he's like yelling and down here, or if you're doing a video game, like, even if you're screaming as Holly for a few hours, it can be taxing after a while. <laughs> but Twilight, not so much. Oh my goodness. How, how did you realize that you had this special voice? How did you get into this? Um, well, I knew when I was four or five years old that I wanted to be an actress and a singer and a dancer and I grew up in Toronto and my first audition for anything animated, I was 13 years old and I became the voice of Hello Kitty. I, I, oh, I, I, Hello, Hello Kitty. Kitty. I, I, I can't believe we're talking to Hello Kitty. This is the most exciting. This is fascinating. Well, plus she's Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> plus she's Twilight Sparkle as well. <laughs> hey, I, uh, to, I, to, uh, you were in a Hallmark movie, A Very Merry Toy Store. And uh, it's my, mm -hmm. it's, I am fascinated with the Hallmark movies. What was that experience like? Well, so much fun. I, I worked with Melissa Joan Hart years ago on Sabrina, and they asked if I wanted to come do that movie. And I was like, sure. We actually filmed in Connecticut. Um, and it was so much fun. And they put a bunch of little My Little Pony plushies as many places as they could for me. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing that. So tell us about My Little Pony ending. I mean, I remember I this with, I mean, my kids, it was in My Little Ponies everywhere. I think we still have them. My daughter's only 12. But uh, it's, it's really like an end of an era. How can this be? Um, it is an end of era. I mean, it's a good time to end the shows, definitely on a high note. And the 200th episode will be airing this Saturday. Um, there's going to be an epic battle between Twilight and her brother, Shining Armor. And this season, we have Weird Al coming back and Pat Oswalt coming back. So it's going to be an exciting last season. I'm sure people will miss the main six, but I'm sure the next group will be almost as exciting. Well, you're a delight. We wish you continued success. Thank you so much for being with us on Better Connecticut. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. And the final season of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, premieres on, it actually, it airs Saturday mornings at 11.30 on Discovery Family. So the premieres happen, but you can continue to watch, of course, and let your kids if watch in their jammies or they can put it on the DVR. Which I think